Okay, so 9 over 20 minus 1 tenth over 1 tenth plus 9 over 20. So again, we're going to simplify the top, simplify the bottom, and then do divide with the complex fraction. So the first thing to do is to um, calculate, figure out 9 twentieths minus 1 tenth. So we're going to find a common multiple of 10 and 20. And so 10 goes into 20, right? So we just need to multiply this guy by... Two. Right, just by two. 10 times two is 20. So multiply that one by two over two. So this is nine twentieths minus two twentieths. And that gives us seven twentieths, right? So that's the, the top fraction becomes that. Any questions on that one? And then it's all divided by, and the bottom fraction, we have tenths and twentieths. We need a common denominator. What times 10 gives 20? Two again, right? So on the bottom, it's the same thing. It'll be two tenths plus nine twentieths. Two and nine is 11, 11 twentieths. Are we okay as far as there? Yeah. All right. So now the trick is rewrite this with a divide by sign. So there's three fraction bars. There's one for the 7 twentieths. There's one for the 11 twentieths. But this one in the middle, this means take this fraction and divide it by this fraction. So we're going to rewrite this with the divide by sign, and then we'll keep going. So that's 7 over 20 divided by 11 over 20, right? Yeah. And that is 7 over 20. Flip the fraction on the right and multiply times 20 over 11. And we could multiply and get 140 over 220 and then try to simplify that. Or it would be a lot easier to do what at this stage? Cross cancel. Yep, yes, cross cancel. So if you're multiplying fractions, you can cross cancel numbers with the top with numbers with the bottom. They can be in the same fraction or on different fractions as long as the numbers are in the top versus the bottom. So 20 to 20 goes once. 20 and 20 goes once, giving us 7 times 1 is 7, over 1 times 11, 11. Any questions?